So if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, I'm sure you've likely gathered that I'm into more of the chaotic and uh, dissonant styles of metal. I tried to find something that was kind of more or less within that niche, but perhaps something a little more creative uh, that I might not have messed around with too much uh, previously. So that pretty much landed me here with the Pixelator. It's a Bit Crusher style plugin, uh, which is not something I've really messed with much at all. Not for any particular reason, just I've never really reached for a Bit Crusher for any reason. But being a much more intuitive Bit Crusher than perhaps just your stock DAW plugins, uh, I think it's going to find its way on a lot more of my tracks. So yeah, let's just get into it. So moving on to the actual plugin now, at a glance, of course, it's nothing too crazy. All your standard controls are going to be there, being your mix, your overall wet and dry, your output, overall volume level, your sample divider, and your bit depth. Nothing too crazy. But some of the little bells and whistles include this mode selection, uh, just various voicings for how the bit crusher reacts, which is really interesting, and they actually vary quite a bit. Uh, it seems very useful for me. And another little thing I just found out, actually, before I started filming this, was this little A-B section. So you can just switch between, instead of going perhaps between different presets uh, that you make, you can just set between the two. Uh, it's a little thing, but I actually kind of wish a lot more plugins would probably offer this. Uh, so that's a cool thing. So for the intro, I'm just going into linear one mode, uh, and just with a sample divider completely maxed out, mix maxed out, uh, and essentially just using it as an EQ slide like you would uh, perhaps with some automation. Uh, and I'm just rolling down the sample divider and giving you kind of an interesting effect on the general take of like an EQ slide for an intro. So again, pretty simple. Uh, that's probably how I would use it in, in lieu of an EQ sweep, just something a little more interesting. Uh, but that's kind of where I feel like this plugin really shines, is just sort of the subtle touches, uh, be it on intros or maybe fills. Uh, another cool thing I'll show you here at the end is maybe automating sort of a on and off effect with just a really crushed sound uh, for an initial impact, uh, say for like a breakdown or something. So moving on to something like the like a fill option, I'll just have like a bit of a faster riff here uh, and just kind of use it just on and off at the end. Uh, and I'll just show you what that sounds like. So again, nothing too insane. I really don't think that you would have this on any sort of like entire track uh, unless you're going for maybe some sort of lo-fi synth uh, but in terms of like a metal application I feel like if we were to just loop this rear section like you can get some pretty crazy crushed sounds here the zero pad is particularly interesting uh, let's move that back a little So it can get pretty noisy, uh, you really have to tame that one a little bit. Uh, but linear, linear two, uh, this is a bit more of a distorted version. So we just put it really overall. Pretty crazy if you uh, really don't reel it back, but I kind of like that. Uh, just try to play it to its strengths, you know? So you could do that just on this little bit and just would, you would essentially just automate it on and off. You wouldn't have it for the entire track, of course. Uh, but moving on to the breakdown section. So I'll just let you listen to this without the pixelator engaged. And then we'll mess around with this rear section, especially this first initial hit of the breakdown. And I'll show you different ways that I might use this for an initial impact hit. Uh, so here it is without it. Pretty simple, just generic breakdown. Uh, again, I think it really kind of shines with a buildup led up to it, just to kind of emphasize the stank uh, if you really crank on this thing. So my initial first thought was just, you know, obliterated on that first hit. Uh, the problem with that is that it compresses so heavily that you actually kind of lose some of that initial hit. 
Uh, so I kind of just went for the noise route on the high end, uh, and you'll hear that with this zero pad function. Uh, and we'll just kind of get with like a feedback screamy bit, uh, and it's gonna get pretty nasty, but you'll hear what I mean. So we'll just listen to that again. Just like some really gross sizzle. Uh, I'm kind of into that. You could even maybe do something like uh, have it automate in and just kind of fade in and swell. So if you were to go to the hip. Something like that. Uh, you could initially do something like that too. Uh, and maybe just automate it on and off uh, on the actual hit for each hit. Uh, and we'll just see how that sounds like. Uh, just going back to the linear one mode, uh, I really like this one. Uh, it's kind of the more traditional bit crush style, uh, lo-fi feel, uh, but it, it really kind of adds some grossness on the low end, which I'm a big fan of. So yeah, let's just mess around with that. So we really have to crank on this. Let's go to linear two and try that. Just kind of like suctions that low end on that first hit. So you could of course use this much more sparingly than perhaps I've used uh, in these examples. These are just three little ideas of how I might personally use them on my own tracks. Uh, like this first example in lieu of maybe uh, like an EQ sort of generic frequency roll off as an intro, you could reach for something like the pixelator and just manipulate the sample divider to kind of simulate that same sort of rolling off effect uh, or build up. Uh, alternatively, the second example, I would probably use this uh, more subtly in terms of like an on off sort of stutter effect, just only the tail end of like a first riff or like a fill, uh, something of that nature. And that's, I mean, of course, where the pixelator kind of shines, uh, in my opinion. Just like those little subtle touches, either like a buildup or just an initial hit is really kind of where this thing shines. Uh, as I'm sure you could probably tell, the initial impact, uh, like I was talking about, is my favorite. Be it just like the kind of frequency, like gross screaming effect over the breakdown, or just sort of the low end, like vacuum effect uh, on the other example I've used. Uh, are just kind of my favorite and probably the most common uses I think I'm gonna find with this. Uh, I just think it's something a little different, something a little neat, uh, but still kind of adds that nastiness and some extra stank. Uh, so, I mean, if you play anything uh, in kind of the same styling of I do in terms of like dissonant eight string metal nonsense, uh, hopefully this was somewhat inspirational to you at least and maybe gave you some ideas of how you could use this on your own breakdowns or burst riffs or any example that I've used in this video. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty simple plugin, uh, very intuitive though. I think it's gonna be on a lot more of my future tracks, I think, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, if you have any other questions or any suggestions for future videos, by all means, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks.